Okay guys, so as you've seen, got this thing running, uh, pretty decent, did a full tune up on it. And uh, for the most part, seems to be good to go. Still working some bugs out. But I uh, also hung the new door, reworked that uh, core support a good bit, got everything lined up, hung new uh, hood, grill, bumper on it. That lower valance is not the greatest, so I'll get a new one of those. But that's where I'm at with it. And uh, plan for the day is hopefully get this thing lowered down on some wheels and tires. And sticking with the budget, my buddy Lee uh, was able to give me some used tires. Another buddy Jack uh, gave me these wheels. They are uh, 17 inch Crown Vic police cruiser wheels. And the only thing I've had to buy is the three inch blocks. I had the U-bolts. I bought some uh, paint for the wheels. So another 50 bucks on this budget build. But my plan is kind of something I wanted to do for a while, an idea I had. I'm gonna uh, paint the wheels black, come back and uh, mask off the outside ring and paint that white. Just kind of make it look a little bit like a uh, white wall tire. So that's the plan with those. So I'll get them scuffed down, painted, and uh, we'll jump to lowering this thing. Okay, so got our wheels painted, uh, nothing fancy, just a quick spray paint job on those. Uh, so we'll let them dry out in the sun and uh, jump to lowering this thing. And uh, I will mention before I start, uh, in case you guys see me not replacing the shocks or a couple little things, uh, that's just because the static drop is just temporary because kind of did a thing but that's for the future so for now like i said i'm just going to drop this thing as cheap as possible uh drive it around a little bit work all the bugs out of it and then i uh, when the time comes those hydraulics and a body drop so that's in the future so for now I'm going to uh start on the rear and i always like to start on the rear when I'm doing just a cheap static drop like this because you're kind of limited on adjustability pretty much by the size of the blocks and how many leaves you take out. Whereas the front, uh, you'll see later, a uh, torsion bar front end is fully adjustable. So I like to get the rear lowered, see where it's at, and then do the front because you can pretty much put it anywhere you want it. Whereas the rear, you're kind of just stuck wherever it is, if that makes any sense to you. But rear is pretty easy, especially uh, the axles are already over top the leaf springs on these and on most mini trucks. If not, you'd, if the axle was under the spring, you'd have to do a flip kit and move it to the top of the springs. But like I said, this one's already done. So pretty much take these U-bolts out while it's apart, we're going to take the uh, middle leaf spring out of here. That's what the longer U-bolts are for, because we'll add these blocks. And all it does is push the axle up higher on top of the leaf, which lowers the vehicle. So, like I said, I got three inch blocks. I'm going to take a leaf out, and uh, hopefully I can get about five inches of drop out of it. I'll remove the uh, bump stops, and like I said, Normally you would want to replace the shocks with shorter ones, but I'm not going to waste you know, 150 bucks on four shocks that are going to be ripped off here in a few months when I put hydraulics on it. But like I said, normally you would want to replace those. But for now, we're just going to throw those blocks on there, rip out a leaf and uh, see where it sits.
Okay, so show you guys where I'm at with it. Uh, before I go any farther, I tried to be nice with the U-bolts and the impact, but they didn't want to be nice. So out came the uh, death wheel. But like I said, got the U-bolts out. And uh, if you have to cut yours, there is a little bit of tension on there just from the spring pack. So uh, I always put a jack under the center, jack it up a little bit, cut them. Uh, just so nothing flies apart on you but like i said everything's loose so uh spring pack is held together with these clamps you can just get a pry bar pry them apart so get those clamps off there and underneath there is a uh, bolt nut that uh holds that whole pack together so spin that off there take the center leaf out uh jack the uh, diff up put my block between the spring and uh the axle put those longer u-bolts in and uh that's pretty much it but like i said i'll get this all tore apart and uh kind of get everything in place and show you what we got then Okay, so got it all apart. So I'll show you guys what what I uh, everything is before it goes back together. Uh, here is that bolt nut I was talking about that holds the spring back together. And it's actually not a bolt. The head of it is round and it is the alignment pin. Uh, as you can see, it lines everything up. The top of the block has a little button on it that will go into a hole on the bottom of the uh, saddle there and they just help keep everything aligned. So that's really all there is to it. Rear diff, it's loose right now. So jack it up, put these blocks in place. And uh, they do come with these pinion angle shims. I usually don't use them, but they are in there if you want to. But basically throw this block in between the leaf and the axle, throw your longer U-bolts on and uh bolt it all together you're done like i mentioned before you'd usually want to replace the shocks uh, with a shorter one but being that it's all coming back apart this is just temporary and uh it's going to have a four link and hydros sooner rather than later i'm not going to waste the money on shocks and also I'm not saying in my younger poor broke mini truck days that i always did replace them anyways so that's on you, but that's all there is to the rear. So uh, I'll get it all thrown back together and uh, show you what we end up with. Okay, so here it is all back together. Uh, really, the only thing you gotta watch for when putting it back together is uh, those alignment pins on top and bottom of the block. Make sure everything stays aligned. And other than that, uh, there's really nothing to it. But I got it, the uh, weight of the vehicle back on the axles and just kinda uh, test fit one of them tires. See where we're at with it. Uh, not stupid low, but definitely a uh, noticeable difference. Probably, I'm gonna guess about a five to six inch drop. And uh, I just kind of did that to get a feel for uh, how low the front needs to go. And I think these wheels are for the most part, pretty dry. 
So I'm not going to mask the rings yet. Uh, I think it'll peel the paint, but I am going to uh, mount the tires and I can uh, spray those white rings later, but at least I can get them bolted to the truck and it'll be a little easier getting the uh, front to the same level uh, with wheels and tires on it. So yeah, I guess I'll throw these tires on these wheels and, uh, and we'll jump to the front. Okay, so the rear, back on the ground. Uh, there's about how it's gonna sit. As you can see, not much wheel gap. Uh, end up being about a five inch drop on the rear. So, going to jump to the front. And to do that, show you guys what we got, if you don't know. And this goes with pretty much any torsion bar, uh, truck, car, whatever. They're all about the same. So this will work on just about all of them. But this is the torsion bar here, runs up to uh, the lower control arm. And in the back, just mounts to this cross member. And it has, I'll try to show you guys, uh, this bolt here. It's just a real long bolt, goes up to the top. You can see them couple of nuts and that big long stud there. And uh, all it does, you turn it one way, it uh, actually twists this bar and uh, puts torsion on it, which will raise the front. You go the other way, it releases torsion or twist and it'll drop the front. So I've been uh, spraying these down with oil all week. So hopefully they spin loose on us pretty easy. But like I say, you just get on that bolt there. I think they're, uh, 23, 24 millimeter on a Toyota. And uh, you'll have to get a wrench on those top nuts, but you just start spinning them loose and uh, don't get too crazy with it. I'm gonna mount these wheels up on the front so I can let this off the jack a few times as I'm uh, turning them bars down so I can kind of match the rear. So I should be able to get a uh, four or five inch drop out of just twisting those uh, torsion bars. Like I said, it's completely free. So we're gonna have like 50 bucks in dropping this truck. So that's right with it. So uh, I'll get those wheels on, start uh, turning those bars. And like I said, we'll probably have, have to have the truck up and down a few times to get it where we want it. But that's the plan. Check it out. How much better is that for uh, 50 bucks? I'm going to drop the front uh, just a little bit more. You can see the back's maybe a half an inch or so lower. So uh, I'll get it up in the air, crank them down just a little bit, and uh, show you guys a couple little things underneath that I skipped over. Okay, so show you guys a few little things on this that uh, I forgot to mention earlier. First, uh, there is bump stops on the front. They just bolt right to the uh, lower control arm. It was two 12 millimeter bolts. They come right off. And another thing I found out with these wheels, uh, if you can see how close it is to that uh, upper ball joint, I had to take the grease fitting off for now 
I, I'll probably end up having to run like a quarter inch or a half inch spacer on the front, but it's fine for moving around the garage for now. And then I, underneath, so you guys kind of get an idea of what I did under here. If you remember earlier, uh, this stud was probably about five inches. So I adjusted it down a good bit. And uh, these, this bolt was actually kind of countersunk into the cross member. So as you loosen it, uh, that key on the torsion bar uh, actually drops down. And these were uh, 22 millimeter top and bottom. And just make sure there's two nuts up here. Uh, the bottom one's the adjuster nut. The top one is the jam nut. When you're all done, make sure uh, to tighten them both back up and spin that jam nut tight up against the other nut. But that's about it with it. I'm uh, going to do something I've been wanting to do since the day I bought this and uh, bring it outside and give it a good scrubbing. Okay, so back in the shop, all cleaned up. And I'll give you guys a little update on where we're at with it. Spent 200 on the truck, uh, 150 on the engine. In the last video, I misspelled engine because I'm a dummy, but none of you dummies even noticed. So we're dummies together. Uh, 50 on fluids, 60 on a tune up. And we spent 50 bucks today lowering it. So just over 500 bucks in this build so far. And to me, that's a pretty sweet truck for 500 bucks. And uh, any young guys watching this want to get into mini trucking, it's that's the cheapest, easiest way. Uh, it really is easy. You can do it. So grab some tools. Don't be afraid to get dirty. Uh, the rest of you guys, when you see some young kid at a show with a static drop, beat up truck. Uh, maybe don't be a dick to him. Uh, that's kind of where we all started. Definitely where I started. And just remember, we're all in this mini truck thing together. So yeah, just don't be a dick. But see you next time.